Hi there folks, welcome back to the IBN and Efficient channel. I hope you're doing really well as ever. Please, please, please hit the subscribe button before you watch any more of this review. We've got loads more reviews coming up, loads of fishing, loads of stuff going on. If you don't hit the subscribe button, you will never know it's happening and your life will be worse because of it. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> if you're already subscribed, thank you very much. Your life is already made better by the fact you're subscribed to this channel. Uh, we're back on the review train again, and this is a review that, to be quite honest, was never really, uh, it was never planned. This, <laughs> this wasn't a review that we sat down and thought, yeah, there's something that we really want to have a look at. In fact, it's a product that I'd seen in catalogues a few times and just, just going off the picture in the description was like, oh, I'm not too fussed about that, to be honest. Uh, but when Gray sent us a couple of their wing Streamflex rods to review, and the reviews are already out on those, so go and check those, they said, look, we're gonna send you these rods, but ideally we'd really like you to use our reels on them just for the footage and the branding and stuff. And I was like, yeah, no problem at all. I just send whatever you want. Uh, and I will say, actually, I've been very bad at that, so sorry about that, Grace. Um, so they sent us uh, one each of the Gray title, three, four, and five, six reels. Now I'm just gonna pop one of these out of the box in a second. As I say, a reel that I hadn't really paid much attention to, to be honest, I didn't know a whole lot about it. And it's been an incredibly pleasant surprise to not only open the box on these reels, but actually fish these for the last four months. A real eye opener. And I think there's a product here that quite possibly has gone under the radar a little bit, certainly in the UK. I haven't seen lots of these on the riverbank and I'm a little bit surprised. So here's my review of the Gray's title, both three, four and five, six large Arbor fly reel. Now I'm just gonna unbox the three, four for the time being. The, the reels are the same inside the package. Uh, nice simple cardboard box, nothing too flashy going on there, a bit of branding. There is a little instruction manual in there actually, we'll go through that first. It just goes through care and maintenance, change from left to right, and just tells you how to use the drag system, gives you a little bit of warranty information as there, we'll get onto that in a bit. And it comes in a really, really nice padded nylon pouch that you can leave set up on a rod. So if you're transporting your rods made up, you can whack that over the top of the handle of the rod and it will keep that reel perfectly safe. So nice job there, Gray's custom title embroidery and everything. Nice stuff. So I'm gonna go through the fixtures, I'm gonna go through the fittings, and after that, and I'll talk about my experience of fishing the title reel, and we'll come up with a sort of accurate opinion on what we think of the reel as a viable option for you guys who look at spending that sort of money on a river fly reel. So what we've got here, Gray's tell us we've got a bar stock aluminium reel. They don't actually tell you the quality of the aluminium, but it's a bar stock aluminium reel with some pretty funky design stuff going on there. A couple of different colors. There's a bit of kind of black around here, a red insert on the drag system, a bit of branding on both sides. It's a really interesting looking fly reel. I can't think of many fly reels I've seen on the market that look like this. Gray's describe it as industrial, but it is a really interesting, and actually the more you look at it, quite attractive fly reel. There's little attention to detail bits here. The longer you look at it, the more you notice them. In fact, I've just noticed one now, the cutouts are actually slightly tilted there. So it almost looks like it's moving when it's not moving. And anyway, <laughs> I've just noticed that now. But you can see there, we've got a little bit of branding on there on the reel seat, branding on the back, three to four, all water performance. Now, apparently these are salt water resistant. You'd never use a three, four in the salt, but as you go into the bigger sizes, there's a seven, eight and there's a nine, 10. You'd be able to use these in the salt water. Everything on here that you're gonna twist is knurled. So knurled on the drag system there and a little bit of aluminum cutting. The handle there is round, kind of simple, sort of baker lighty type feel to it. I'm not sure how to describe it, but it's always been perfectly comfortable. There's a little bit of knurling on the spool release there, and I'm gonna pop this off straight away. It's a captive nut, so you can't pull that off, that's stuck in place, so even if you're in the middle of the river and you've got to deal with something, that nut's not gonna go anywhere. And one of the big things here that we'll focus on very, very quickly is the fact that this is a full cage reel, which means that for you Euronymphing guys who are using the thin monos and the thin French leaders and stuff like that, this is a reel that's gonna avoid that thin mono or the French leader getting underneath the frame of your conventional reel. As you can see in there, it says they're carbon sealed on the drag system, bright red drag system, there's carbon washers in there, it's all sealed. Pop that back on there, it's nice and easy. Line that captive nut back up and you're back in there and there is absolutely no play on this reel at all. There is not a millimeter of movement here. It is absolutely rock solid. It just feels solid. Everything feels held together. That carbon disc drag system on the back end of the reel goes from naught to full there in pretty much two and three quarter turns. Nice low startup inertia drag system, sort of drag system you can trust when you're fishing 5X, 6X, 7X like we do up here. 
I'll try and get it close to the microphone. It's got a click in and a click out. It's exactly the same click in both directions. It's pretty subtle, actually. It's fairly inoffensive. Outside of about 10 feet, you're probably not even going to hear it. But if you're the kind of person who likes to have a little bit of click, there is one in and out here on the title. And then there's a couple of really interesting features on here, stuff that again, maybe not seen before. The first off, the inside of the spool there has just got a little ridge in it to sit your back and knot in. Very, very small thing that is, but on a reel that's so machined out here, just having that little slot down there for the back end to sit in before you wind over the top of it. I actually really like that. It made fitting the back end in there a little bit easier. One of the other features on here that again, I don't think I've seen before, and I'll be honest, this took me about a month to notice because they don't mention it anywhere but right along the whole of the outside rim of the reel on the actual main cage itself, there is a slot here. So if you, like me, like to fish fairly long leaders, but you like to have line out the tip when you can it around, there's actually a little slot in there that leader will sit in to go right the way around the reel. So it's not getting caught in the cage, or it's not going around the handle. It doesn't pop off while you're walking. That's a really interesting feature that and something I've not seen before. One of the other things that's worth noting here, and this again, this is a really interesting design feature. It looks a little bit weird having this big black rim around here, but if you're the type of person who likes to be able to palm or control the reel while you're fishing, while a fish is running, actually that smooth surface there is, is just about in the right place. I must admit, it's not something that I do very much, but if you like to sort of palm a reel rather than just trust the drag system, this big kind of round circle around the spool here is just in the right place there, just to be able to just apply a little bit more pressure. In terms of weights and measurements, the diameter of the spool on the three to four weight is about 86 millimeters. I've just measured that myself, so about 86 millimeters. And the reel actually, for a reel at this price class, is gonna sound a little bit heavy. 179 grams for the three, four weight is perhaps a little bit more heavy than you expect from a modern reel at this price point. The five to six reel, I've just measured the spool on that one at about 95 to 96 millimeters and a weight of 198 grams, which again is on the heavier side of what you'd expect to find for a reel at this price point. But with that full cage, with all the extra features in there, it's not an unreasonable weight. So what I want to do now is just go through sort of my experiences of fishing with the reel, stuff I've liked, the stuff I've not liked, the stuff I've noticed. And you get a sort of a picture here of what we've got as a package with the title. As I say, I've used this for about four and a half months now, I've used it myself, IB's used it a bit, used it for guiding a lot, particularly the 3-4. So I've got to know this reel really well. And the first thing I want to talk about actually is the drag system on this reel because actually even though it's not one of the modern kind of 360 degree turn reels I've built up a level of trust with this drag system pretty quickly those carbon washers in there are doing a good job and I was able to set this quite accurately just to fish at 6 or 7x particularly on my urine infant stuff and just trust it I must admit I'm not the type of person who's going to use that palming bit there if you are great there's nothing wrong with it but I personally prefer to trust the drag system so demand quite a quality drag system out of my reels and actually this has got that the startup inertia is basically zero it's a very very good drag system i actually think it could be a drag system on a much more expensive reel than this so props to graze there first off if you're buying a steel disc drag reel the first thing you want is to know that, that drag system is good and that is most definitely a high quality drag system on both reels it's been really effective the next bit I want to talk about is actually just how smooth the reel is. Uh, I think I've said before on the channel, I'm not a massive fan of clicky reels, but actually, even though this has got a click in and out, it's an incredibly subtle and incredibly smooth click that actually even I don't mind that much. Uh, the reel's nicely balanced with that counterbalance weight that's branded and built into the spool. Uh, the big wide rim there doesn't cause any extra wobble. And actually, it's just a very, very smooth, very sort of premium feeling reel. It, it, it's a reel that sort of belies its price point in terms of just how it feels in the hand. Everything just feels solid. Everything's tight and together. It's a very, very impressively constructed fly reel. It'll come as no great surprise, but the 348 for me with that full cage design has mostly been used as a urine infant reel with my French leader particularly. I've used it with the Spanish leader as well, but whatever you use it with, it doesn't matter because it cannot get through that cage. And that's one of the reasons why actually I don't mind the weight on here. Now, I know the sort of balance in urine infant rods really splits people. There are people that don't believe in it at all, people who believe in it religiously. I actually quite like balancing out a little bit. I do find that if I'm not having to grip the rod really hard, then I don't fatigue in my forearm like I would do if I was really, really having to grip tight all day. And actually at the weights these reels are, particularly the three, four weight, it balanced out my 10 foot three weights really, really nicely, pretty much perfectly actually. I wasn't having to grip at all. I could just hold it in the palm of my hand. 
So actually, even though, yeah, it's a little bit heavier than may maybe you'd expect a modern flywheel to be at this sort of price point, by the time you factored in that quality drag system, the full cage, all of that stuff, Actually, I think what you've got here is probably one of the low-key best Euronymphin reels on the market in the UK at the moment. And it's just not a reel that I think people are talking about enough. In terms of the durability of it, as I say, it's an incredibly solid little tank of a reel. I've managed to put a couple of minor scuffs on mine, but really nothing else than what you'd expect from a reel that's had nearly five months of constant use. There's certainly nothing major on there. The quality of the aluminium is very good. The black section around there, again, no great damage on there. That's stood up absolutely fine. It, it, there's nothing wrong with it. It's it's not physically changed at all. One thing that definitely has grown on me about the reel, and this is only a small thing, but actually in, in real terms it perhaps isn't, it's actually just the look of it. I must admit, when I first took it out of the packet, the, you know, there's a lot of writing on there, there's a lot of branding, there's a lot of stuff going on. I was like, wow, that's a lot. That's really in your face. But actually, I think it's a really pretty reel. Everything's knurled in the places it needs to be knurled. I like the fancy cutout on there. I like the fact they've stuck a little bit of branding in every now and again. Everything's colour coordinated. Actually, it goes really well with the wing stream flex range of rods with the black and grey. I think that's a really, really pretty fly rod. I think it's a good looking piece of kit and wouldn't look out of place on any fly rod, whatever you've spent. In truth, I haven't really got a lot of negative stuff to say about the title. It's both of them have just been very, very good. I will say the, the locking nut here confused me a little bit because it's sort of beveled and machined in a way that made me think that it was supposed to kind of lock in a bit further. It isn't at all. It's just the little rings around the edge look a bit like a screw thread. So I remember at one point I spent a couple of minutes trying desperately to get this thing to screw in a little bit tighter. It doesn't, it's not designed to. The handle, it's functional, it's usable. It maybe feels a little bit chintzy compared to the rest of the reel. I don't think the hand, the quality of the handle is quite reflective of the rest of the reel. But I mean, crikey, if the worst thing I can find about this fly reel is that the plastic handle is plastic. I think we're onto a good thing here. Actually, I think this is a very, very good fly reel for the money. One thing I did find is they're both pretty big reels in terms of capacity. Uh, I fished the three, four, I'd say mostly it's your and infant rig and a hundred yards of backing, hundred yards of 20 pound backing on here just vanished. I actually ended up putting a little bit more on in the end just to pack it out a little bit. And then on the five, six, I mostly had that with a four weight line on it, quite a heavy headed four weight line. And again, a hundred yards of backing just vanished. So if you're going to buy one of these reels, be prepared to fill it up a little bit because there is plenty of space there on that spool. So lots of cool features. I really like that design for the leader to go around the reel. I think that's fantastic. I like the fact they've designed in a little area to palm the reel. As I say, I don't use it, but I think it's cool. The thought of that, the drag system in here is very, very good. The machining is absolutely rock solid. It looks pretty cool. There's a lot going on here. We've got to talk about cost. We have to talk about cost with this reel. So I've just had a quick check and the retail price on the three to four weight Grace title is 209 pounds which actually I think at that is pretty good money. I was thinking about the other reels on the market at about 200 quid. I don't think any of them are better than this. They'd all be much of a muchness actually. I don't think any of them are better than this. But one thing that has just stood out to me while I was just doing a little web search there is that at the moment, and I'm recording this on the 25th of July, at the moment, these are on sale on quite a few retailers in the UK for less than 150 quid for the three four weight. Now I'm not kidding, at that money, sub 150 quid for the three four weight as a urine stroke fly line reel that is an absolute steal that is an absolute steal and if you're looking at upgrading your reel in time for the grayling season or if you've got halfway through, through the trout season and realize your current reel isn't quite doing the business crikey if you can pick one of these up on sale at the moment for 150 quid you are quids in there in terms of warranty, it does say in the booklet, you're talking about a 12 month warranty here and you're gonna to need to have your receipt to make sure you can keep the warranty valid. In truth, I'm not seeing a whole lot here on the, on the titles that can go wrong. They're relatively easy to change over. There's enough O-rings in there to make sure that that sealed drag system should stay sealed. I cannot anticipate, pushing that really hard, I can't anticipate anything happening here in terms of a fishing situation that is going to damage this thing it is just so robust it is so rock solid that it just doesn't feel like there could possibly anything go wrong in terms of the actual physical construction of it so 12 month warranty it sort of is what it is i just can't see you getting any problems with the title reels because they are so solidly built 
So at that guys, I think I'm going to wrap this one up, but very quickly we'll go through it again. Grace title, fantastic drag system with low startup inertia. You can trust it with lighter tippets. Super robust design that I just don't feel like could ever possibly go wrong. You'd have to run this over with your car. I think to cause any damage to it. Big capacity, you're gonna to want to fill it up, but you could use it for fly line, you could use it for your infant, you can use it in fresh or salt water. What more could you possibly want from a fly reel than what you're gonna get out of the Grey's title? Please get in the comment section. As always, let us know if you've got a title, let us know how you've got on with it since you've had it. Let us know if you're thinking about buying one or please definitely let us know if you buy one as a result of this review. If you're looking for a new reel to do a bit of urine infant with this winter, Found it, there it is, great title, three to four weight, balances a 10 footer nicely, got all the stuff you want, absolutely bang on. That'll do for today, folks. Thank you very much for watching this review, much appreciated. Uh, IB and I are gonna see you guys again for some more fishing, some more reviews, and some more stuff very soon. Take care, folks. Bye-bye.